Hello Opal's users. This short tutorial will cover the printing of barcode labels for your students. Before I show you this, I just want to remind you that if, especially in a primary elementary school, the lower grade schools, if your students come in as a class with their teacher uh, and or homeroom, you can use the circulation option for a teacher group loans or a homeroom group loans. I'm going to choose teacher group loans and I will pull up a teacher and when I pull up the teacher all the students will be listed on the far right side and I can choose as I like. Just a second, I'm going to choose teacher and I will choose Dale Vetter. And here's Mr. Vetter's class all here. I can choose any user I want and the cursor under the item barcode blinking ready to loan a book. I see that people have overdues. I can pull up another student. I'll pull up Hannah and I could check out a book. And here's the information about Hannah's book that's already checked out, just to show you a little bit. So that would be under circulation, either a teacher or homeroom group loans, which then you don't need to print out the barcodes. So I just thought I'd point that out. To print out the barcodes, go to the Users tab, the Group Editor. Oftentimes, Primary elementary schools will print them out by a teacher or a homeroom and put them in a three-ring binder. So you can just open the three-ring binder to that particular teacher or homeroom class and all the barcodes are there. Uh, if you wanted to, I, I don't think it's a good idea, but you could go click student in the group editor under users, group editor, student search, and I pull up all my students. I could select all the pages and choose print barcode label. You have the option to print last name then first name. Most people choose that. You have the option to put the homeroom on, the grade on, and you can also exclude the actual number above the barcode if you like. I'm not going to print all these students. I'm going to deselect the page, clear it off, and this is how I think most folks would do it. You would search under teacher and or homeroom, and I'll search for Mr. Vetter, and then I will print the barcodes and put them in my three ring binder. So I select all pages, print barcode label, I'll do last name, first name, I'm going to have a homeroom on the label and the grade, I'll leave the number on there. Clicking print pulls up my PDF and here's the students barcodes ready to print. You can print these on plain paper, you don't have to use label, especially if you're just sticking them in a book. So I've printed Mr. Vetter's, so now I'm going to do a, uh, another teacher, and this time I'll choose Miss Smith, search. It's telling me that I had users from the last session where I pulled up Mr. Vetter. I'm going to clear them. And here's Miss Smith's class. I select all pages. I click print barcode label. I leave it as it is, print, and here are the barcode labels ready to be printed. I hope this tutorial is helpful. All the best as you start your school year.